Hello and welcome, Arctic Fox here, and we are back for some more The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Um, last uh, episode we managed to defeat our first mini-boss, uh, which is um, um, Seismic Talus. And now we're gonna go straight to the story. We can travel between the still world and your world here. Do you want to return to your world now? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. The rift was uh, here. The rift that was here was gone now. Which means we can reach the place you were trying to go to earlier. If you keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts and we'll be able to save your father. Yeah? You there, a moment of your time. Uh. I am left him, Minister of Hyrule. Pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? Mm. Oh, Princess Zelda! I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Er, why are you wearing that? <laughs> so we failed to save you from the beast, and now you're out here facing much danger? I must confess, I am surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend, Trike, accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Trike. You can see me? <laughs> Who could miss you? You're floating right there and aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Oh, so Lady Impa couldn't see you? How odd. <laughs> Oddities aside, I'm worried about the, His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? If I recall correctly... Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense. She'd send you there. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Okay. You're slow. Why are you stopping when I'm ahead of you? Bye. Right here, princess. <laughs> Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Lefte. Lady Impa is in my colleague and... What's that? I'm very busy, man. No time for chatter. Now get! I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, we'll only be for a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no! I've got to save Link. Huh? Hang on there. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well? What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Phew, we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can see as uh, can as well. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. 
Indeed, such a fascinating and, might I add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure, but back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We've both ended up in the rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the rifts, cha rifts change people somehow. Oh yeah, I guess I should introduce myself. I am... Self? The name's Luberry. I'm Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. Mr. Luberry, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big nasty blue fellow who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spend my time researching Hyrule history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into the rift vanish without a trace. After which Tom's folks would say they've been stolen away. Anyhow, Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which, which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The Sword of Might. Princess Zelda's wielding is the very one I hope would be of use to Link. So, Link was helping out with the rifts as well? Plenty of monsters come out of the rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take the blue guy out? And yet the rifts keep coming? Clearly, we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken uh, by the rift in the Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was uh, at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in the uh, rift in the forest. So how did I end up over here? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside of them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other missing people in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Hey Zelda, I'm going to fly up and look in uh, and hi to look for some of the other big rifts. Okay. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be, but I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Okay. We're going to the closest one, of course. I've marked them on your map, Zelda. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to pay our parts. Princess Zelda included. You make me... You make a salient point, Mr. Luberry. Princess, I urge you to go with Try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Hi. Oh, of course, investigations are my specialty. Oh. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are loca uh, located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul waters. Please let me know if you're required further information. Alright, princess, I leave it to you to find the king, General Wright. King, General Wright, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. That sword you've got there, pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I have to do more research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Okay. You want to chat about the sword, huh? As I mentioned before, the Sword of Might is my craftsmanship. 
For a while now, I've been researching a type of crystal that's sometimes left behind from the rifts. In my research, I discovered that it's highly effective against rift monsters. And... Ah! Aha! And it appears you have some of the blue crystals with you. I ended up calling it Might Crystal. It's what I forged the Sword of Might from, in fact. During my investigation into the rifts, I met Link who's from the Southern Village. I made the sword for him and the rest is history. Link's made good use of the sword, meanwhile I've continued forging things might with might crystals. See that machine in the corner? I designed it to enhance the sword. Eh? Looking at the sword, it seems like it's lost some of its power. But once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. You should give it a try. All you need to do is bring me some of the mite crystals. Check the machine in Blueberry's house to enhance your weapons using mite crystal. Okay. Do I have enough? Um, okay. We'll just do that. <sighs> sure thing, leave it to me. Okay. Energy cage is now level 2. Okay. What do you want in the inside? Okay. Alright. Right here. What's underneath here? Anything to copy? What is this? Blueberry's diary. Entry 1. The crystal I unearthed at the rift site, what I'm now calling a mite crystal, has strange powers. The monster that sprang from the rift seems repelled by it. If I can get enough of it, I feel certain it would be powerful against the rift monsters. After many late nights of research, I've developed a technology that can refine the crystals. From there, I'll be able to create a weapon from the crystals as well as enhance that weapon. So now I'm pondering what type of weapon I should make. I'll test some things to begin with. Keep reading. I was nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Link rescued me. Folks in the southern village tell me that Link was among a group of kids who were stolen away. These kids made it back somehow though, remarkable. All of the kids who were taken by rifts have lost something. For Link, he lost the ability to speak. Despite all that, all he has been through, he fights to keep others safe. His bravery has moved me deeply. Then it hit me. This young man would be the best person to entrust the Sword of Might to. I do believe I can support him in the efforts to tomorrow I'll visit uh, Southern Village for again. Reading. The Sword of Might I entrusted to Link packs a wallop against those Rift Monsters, as I hoped. But doesn't seem to be enough for the Blue Monster, who we believe is creating the Rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect the sword is not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However, I shall be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more Might Crystals. Link stopped by on his way home for his travels. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. While he cannot speak, his feelings come through as clear as day. I decided to make a new weapon. I must do what I can to continue to help Link. Reading? Link stopped by. He's off to defeat the blue monster once and for all. He seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. The Sword of Might has been forged as the best as I am able. I gave him some of the weapon, other weapons too, yet I cannot help but worry. Please stay safe and return to us, Link. Okay, that's it. Stop reading. Anything to copy here? No? Okay. We're out of here. Alright, so where do we start? We're gonna start here, Gerudo Desert. Okay. Get this. <sighs> Alright. Let's check on the Blueberry Town again, real quick. Hmm, side quest. Hello there, traveler. Mind if I uh, bend your ear? 
Things have been messed lately with the rifts and monsters and whatnot. Oh. I've got a wife who is sick. I was thinking I'd cheer her up by bringing home something rare. So I go on a little walk and what do I find? A giant plant that flies. Oh. But wouldn't you know near those caves deep in the forest I lost sight of the thing. Now I'm half convinced I imagined it. I have no idea if I ever see that plant again. Well guess what? I have it on my... Take a look at that. No. This is it. That's the plant I saw. Oh. You took the time to go find it for me? Well, thanks, traveler. I should go grab my wife. She'll want to take a look at that. Oh? No. This thing's not a plant at all. It's a monster. No. Well, yeah. <sighs> I really had no idea that was uh, what I was dealing with. I'm sorry you went out of your way to bring it to me. But well, there's no way that would have cheered my, up my wife. Oh. Honey. Oh, who's, the, who's speaking? Honey, you went all that trouble just to make me feel better? Uh huh. Oh, Othera. Oh, 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 Othera, did you hear all that? Mm. Well, your voice does scary. You know, there was no need to do all th that for my sake. I'm perfectly happy as long as I have my darling husband with me. <laughs> oh, shucks. You've always been good at making me blush. Once things settle down, Othera, what do you say the two of us do some traveling? That sounds nice. Tonight, let's think of a place to go together. You got it. Thanks for bringing me what I asked for. Here's something for you. Okay. <laughs> Honey, what about sea Seaside? Village, I hear Lake Helia, Helia is lovely too. Dear, there's no need to decide now. We've got all the time in the world to mull, over, mull it over. I'm guessing they're laughing. Okay, that's one um, side quest out of the way. Anything? Oh, this is death. Mo wait. Anything on here? Nothing. Okay. This is definitely Link's house. Anything in Link's room? No. Break that. Break that. Nothing. Okay. So. Let's see here. Okay. I'm gonna go Gerudo. Gonna do the best part of these ga this game. Mm, any way I could go there? No reason. Is there a path? There's no such path, but. Um, we should be able to make one, right? No, probably not. Okay. Okay. Going this way. Here. 
go fight. <laughs> Spider? Ah! Get the spider. There we go. Thank you. That. Crawl to la. Get him. Alright. Nicely done. Anything up here? So many monsters here. Fight them off for me, please. Ugh. Fine. Zelda will take care of the. Well, saving the day as always, the heroic, huh? You're not Link. Sorry about that, the hood that had me thinking you were someone else. Please forgive my confusion. My name is Verly, and I'm a, a resident of Southern Village. I set out to chop grass in, the vi in my village, and before I knew it, I chopped my way to Southern pra Prairie. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make a little plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared and, well, you know, uh, the rest. There's a lesson here. You should never get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Take it. Got 20? Thank you. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for? He's a brave swordsman from Southern Village. He's been a light uh, to all of us, but right now, he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. I hope he's doing well, whatever, wherever he might be. If you run into a swordsman wearing a hood and green tunic, can you pass him a message? His friend in Southern Village will be there for him when he comes back. Come so. Okay. Actually. Before I, just in case I might forget, since I cannot go in here yet, I'm gonna design this as treasure chest, so I can come back there once I know how to get rid of that wall. I see that heart. Not another spider, not another spider. Wait. There you go. Um, let's see here. Anything down here? No. Fight! Okay, so, let's see. How do we do this? This is the shortest one. Um... Go directly. There you go. There you go. Ugh. 
Are you kidding me? Um... Up. Oh. No. That. There you go. There you go. Up. One, two, three, and four. There we go. We got a piece of heart. Alright, where to? Where to? There's one more here. Chest. So far, this is my favorite monster. Scatter that. You know what? I'm gonna do this the real Zel Zel um, Zelda player de uh, game. So this is a treasure chest. This is a heart. Um, I'm gonna remove this, and then we're gonna do this. I forgot where every where everything else that I did, um got if um so I don't know we'll see yeah I don't know we're gonna do this for now on so it's fine this is a treasure chest This, 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 and then this. Go up, up. Oops, oops. Good God. Is gonna be the might crystals. Hmm. Beat that crow. Beat him. There you go. Get him. Nice. right here so mark that mine 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 uh 
Um, sort that, sort, 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 most use. Okay. Okay. Wow. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go up here real quick. Just want to check what's up here. Make sure we're not missing anything. No. Okay. Can't touch that. Purely decoration. Ooh, there you go. Perfect. Um, bed here, bed here, bed here, and bed here. There you go. Um, location, up, treasure chest. What else is here? Doesn't seem like there's anything up here. Going here. And then... Oh, this is definitely Gerudo, Gerudo, Gerudo Castle. I guess I was supposed to go there first. But... Okay, let's go there. Let's see what this is all about. Oh! Yay! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hello, I'm the stamp guy. I've loved stamps since I was a tiny tot. Now I'm Hyrule's huge shit, hugest stamp fan. Bet you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand. A stand for stamping stamps. Oh my god. Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press uh, one down to leave a stamp behind plunk tacular from start to finish. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling from st for stamps, collecting them all. Sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over the Hyrule. Ready to rally? I bet you're re rally, rally, rally excited. Um, sure. Yeah, you are. Okay, here's your stamp card. My god, you got the first stamp card. This stamp card is the Stamp Rally Beginners. It was uh, handmade by the stamp guy and it looks like it. I know you're gonna have fun because I had fun making it. Now, get a stamping like you've never stamped before. Look for stands like this all over the world and get every stamps. But hey, there aren't any stands underwater or in buildings and they they're not in caves either that'd be way too dangerous for my taste i'll give you a reward if you fill up that card with stamps push yourself to find them okay all together now ready set go stamp rally good god all right wait should I have a... See, there's not enough... Mm. If I could use this for the stamp... Doesn't matter. The stamp rally doesn't seem to be that hidden, so... Okay. We're going to the mark direction. Ooh, Gerudo! We'll deal with them later. So we 
recorded, you can now warp jump in using the map. Okay. Wait, but... Oh, okay. Gerudo Desert. Got an oasis. All right. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here. But this desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now we could check around the area with the biggest rift. Okay. So that's the biggest rift right there. But there's a rift out here as well. Um, let me... Let me do stuff right here real quick. Oh no, oh no, not a problematic one. Aurora. Warm pepper. Okay, let's talk to this. The monsters just keep coming. I'm completely worn out. I hear you, but if we keep it keep at it then the big rift should start shrinking oh. we can do this we'll get rid of uh, that rift and take back Gerudo's sanctum okay that was just a conversation I guess I'll leave you alone what is this okay where am I okay Ooh, key. Um, hold on. I just had a thought. Here's my thought. <laughs> I knew it was gonna work. Yeah. That's fun. Um... Okay. Oof, this is a stronger one. There we go. Got a stronger. Caro oh. Madillo. Alright. Ooh. Okay, just play, play you. Hit him. Oh no, not me. Hit him. Hit him. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Go. Hit him. Nice. Okay, we got a treasure chest in here. Um, chili cactus. Item can be used to recover hearts. Okay. Okay, so that cave has a treasure chest. Easy enough. Okay, what else? Dude, why is he so fast? That's not fair. Hit him. Hold on one second. So right here, in the treasure chest. go
Um, I think... Looks like that's the oasis, but let me check up here first. Looks like a part of a story type of thing. Yeah, it looks like it's part of a story. Or a main quest. Okay. That was too obvious. There's a sad piranha! Can you do this? Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait, what? What the hell? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright. I guess. Stop. Hit him again. Learn that. Where am I? What? What is going on? I can't see anything. Oh, my map is stupid sandstorm. Hit it! Ah, you can't. That's right. Tornado Echo! I see Piranha! Okay, here we go! Alright, who the hell? Kill him! Dugsh. Dugsh. <laughs> Alright, open this! Okay, put that on the map. Hello. Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft your own freezing taste bud pleasing smoothies. The process is simple, you pick two ingredients and I blend them together. So come now come on now. Let's get to to it ready to make smoothie. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yes. You got it. Some of this, some of that, mix it all up with a teensy pinch of alrighty. Your smoothie. Alright. Hope you like it. I added a recipe to the menu, so you'll be able to, to order the same thing next time if you like. Which actually is giving me an idea. My sibling and I siblings and I are new in the smoothie game and to keep hold over the market we're opening branches all over Hyrule but that's been so much work we haven't had time to come up with new smoothie concepts so what would you say to join the venture you make recipes we handle the business side come up 
to with 10 recipes out of the ingredients from your travels and we should be in good shape well we'll then we'll even throw in a reward sounds great huh thanks for the help oh before you go my siblings are running smoothies in other places too we're all sending ingredients from our local region to the main shop back home. If you run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? Okay, let's let's make some smoothies then. Do that. Okay. That's our second recipe. That and then this. Okay, I'm guessing that's our third recipe. This, this. Is that the same or different? I don't know. Is it the same? It looks the same, huh? Yeah, that was the same. So we're still at three. Mm, it looks the same again. Another one. These are all repeats. Oh, <laughs> okay. Try different. Mm, this looks the same. Okay, that's new. Um, this and then this. That looks new, right? I think. Um, keep going with Apple. Uh, oh, this one looks different. I don't know how many I've had already. Probably five recipes. That's different, definitely. Um, no more apple.
Ooh, that looks pretty. Did I get 10 already? Now, if I'm not mistaken, 2, 4, 6, 10. That's it. You made all the recipe we asked for. With that many items on the menu, every customer will find something to like. Here's your reward for helping expand the shop miss menu. Ooh, you got a survey scoop. This special spyglass makes smoothie ingredients and monster stones appear a little more often when you break objects or defeat monsters. You've been a, a huge help. We've got plenty on the menu now. Er, that's what I'd like to say, but... Now that we've experienced the cool mouth feel of success, I want to expand our menu again. What would you say to making 10, no, 20, 20 more new recipes? It'll make it worth your while. All right, 20 more. Ooh, looks pretty. Okay, heart appearance up. I don't know, maybe? Yeah, okay. Um, this should be an, a good way to end this episode. Next episode, we're gonna start the Gerudo Desert um, quest. We'll probably start with this guy right here, with the side quest. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.